The School of Cities teaches the world why cities matter. Here's why cities matter for opportunity. This is my family story. One, not just of upward mobility, but of white privilege. William Chapel was born in 1825 and traveled to find gold as part of the British Navy. Then he and his wife migrated to a farm near Bowmanville, Ontario, land granted to British veterans and stolen from the Mississauga and Chippewa people. There in poverty, they raised nine children, including my great-grandfather, Henry. You had to go to the city to move up in the world. By 1888, Henry was living on Ontario Street in Toronto, working as principal of Dovercourt School and attending Trinity College Medical School. He graduated and married Maddie Murphy, with no hope of making it big in Toronto, where early settlers already owned the land. The siblings moved to Billings, Montana, where Henry became mayor and founded the first hospital. But Henry died young, leaving Maddie with young children. She took the life insurance money and invested in real estate, an apartment building popular for immigrants. She sent the kids to university and law school, and her son, my grandfather Harry, continued to profit in real estate and sent his kids to college. When Maddie died, my uncle Alex invested her money in a warehouse centrally located in Los Angeles on the freeway. When that was sold, the next generation each got money to buy a house and college for their kids. Meanwhile, I got a PhD at UC Berkeley, paid for by the state. 132 years after Henry left the U of T, I came back to head the school of cities. This is a story of cities, how working with the public sector, they confer wealth and opportunity on the hardworking and the lucky. The government gave my family land. The government built the infrastructure that made city land valuable, and the government subsidized our college educations. But not everyone is able to benefit now like my family did. Things have changed, and especially if you're born with skin that is not white, you have a hard time getting ahead. This is the gap you face if you arrive in North America today. But it doesn't have to be like that, because we know that cities and universities make opportunity happen. And this is what motivates us at the School of Cities to innovate new ways together to advance reparative justice. And that's what motivates me to make sure our cities welcome everyone, so that one day someone from this family can be succeeded by someone from this one.